What is going on, my super sandwiches? Rhyme style here, and today we're gonna some more Yu-Gi-Oh unboxing. And today I got this, this little box over here, the legendary Game Board Edition Collection, which for some reason will pop up every now and then. Uh, I got this from Target for $29.99. For some reason, the, the Target that I always go to either has this or they have the Kyber Collection, and they always alternate like every week. And this box came out originally in 2014, I want to say. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me in the comment section below. But uh, as far as how often you see this box, it's kind of like here and there, it's, it's hit or miss. Either you see it or you don't see it. But either way, between this and the Kyber Collection, I'm a big fan of these both these boxes. And you guys seem to really enjoy seeing these openings, especially this one, because uh, it has those older pack reprints. Which, um, I don't know how viable these cards even are anymore compared to like the newer meta, but still, it's pretty cool. So in case you don't know what you get out of here, I'll actually show you the back of the box. Uh, as always, I am going to I am going to give away the promo cards, which consists of blue eyes, dark magician, red eyes, uh, just the vanilla cards, and also you have the non-playable slifer, obelisk, and raw. And um, what we're gonna do here is, is oh, and also as far as what you get in these packs, you get uh, some classic packs, like I said, which consists of legend of blue eyes, metal raiders, spell ruler, or I guess I should say magic ruler is how it used to be called, feral servant, dark crisis, and invasion of chaos. Now, if you comment on this video and leave a like, uh, I'm gonna do a random comment picker thing like I always do, and one lucky person will get the promo cards in here, which again consists of the six cards which I listed uh, in the beginning of the video. So, if you want this, just participate, and, and I got you. I'll like your comment, I'll pin it, I'll reach out to you through YouTube message, and then I'll get your information as far as, you know, getting these cards sent over to you. So, good luck to whoever is trying to get those. All right, let's pop these bad boys open and see what we got. Also with it, what's cool about this set, I always like to show this off, even though if you watch like all my openings on this before, this is like getting kind of redundant. Is the mat you get? It's like a really high quality mat. The first one consists of, you know, you got Yugi, Kaiba, and Joey on there, and then the back you got some of my favorite monsters. Of course, you got uh, Slifer, Obelisk, and Raw, as well as the classic monsters like Exodian Necros, Dark Magician of Chaos, and uh, Black Skull Dragon, as well as the original three on the, the side over here. Okay. Now that we got the intro out of the way, let's get into the packs. So we got Feral Servant, Blue Legend of Blue Eyes, Dark Crisis, Metal Raiders. Uh, let's just do it. Let's we'll, we'll do it in this order. So we'll do these first. Put these over here to make sure I don't damage it, because one lucky person is gonna get this, and you don't want this to be damaged when you get it. All right, Spell Ruler or Magic Ruler. Let's see what we got. We can get some uh, uh, relinquished action out of here, as I like to always mention when I open these packs. I'm not gonna do the card trick just because I don't know the card trick. Number one, I always forget it, and two, I'd rather not potentially damage the card. Technically, these aren't that valuable anymore because number one, they're not first edition, and two, they're reprints. Uh, with Yu-Gi-Oh, if you want to go for collective value, you always want to go for you know the first edition cards that originally came out and potentially get those graded, and those are the ones that end up being you know uh, the big hits. Metal Fish, Banisher of Light. So we got a super rare in the first pack. Actually, how many cards is this? So we got Banisher of Light. What is it? Okay, I was about to say, I was like, is it damage at the top? It's not. Banish of Light, what does this do? Is as long as this card remains face up in the field, any card sent to the graveyard is removed from play. This is a good card, actually. I used to run this as a kid every now and then. Really screws you because back in the day when everybody ran Monster Reborn, this right here, Bad Boy, this Bad Boy really helped you out. On top of that, it has 2,000 defense. So you just, you set it, it gets attacked, it flips, you're good to go. Um, let's put this over here, actually, into the Gem Mint 10 pile. We got UFO Turtle. And how many, one, two, three, so it's four from the back. So we'll do four from the back on the next uh, pack. Uh, but we got Wall Shadow. Giant Turtle Feeds on Flame, Peacock, and Hamburger Recipe to summon, uh, what was his name? Uh, Ham Hungry Burger, the Hungry Burger uh, Ritual Monster. All right, first pack, pretty good, pretty good. I'm pretty sure this stuff right now that you can run, it's a lot better than, you know, Banisher of Light, but again, from when I grew up with it, Banisher of Light was the monster. Anything that had 2,000 defense, or even had like 1,900 attack was like the, the basic vanilla cards you wanted to always go with. Metal Raiders. Right, let's go hunt for uh, Black Skull Dragon, or I guess one of my favorite cards, Mirror Force. Which I pulled, I think I pulled Mirror Force in one of these packs before. I did, I did, I definitely did. So it's four from the back, one, two, three, four. Let's see if I did that right. If I didn't do it right, well, I apologize. So we got Music King, we got Crass Clown, I hate Crass Clown, and Duel Links. Those stupid, uh, uh, and not... NPCs, the CPUs that you have to fight and that you auto duel, they always run crass clowns and it's just annoying. Like they're not hard to beat, but it's just annoying. Sort of deep seated, Cocoon of Evolution, uh, Pale Beast, Rabbit Horseman, Ancient Brain, Fake Trap, and that's that's the only hit. That's the only hit in this one. Fake Trap. All right, let's put this into the non cool pile over here. I gotta, <clears throat> I gotta get used to. Oh, my freaking troll is dry. <coughs> I gotta get used to seeing this with uh, a card set to four to, to the back. 
um, in the future of these next four pack openings. But <clears throat> I apologize if I screw it up because I usually don't do the card trick on these. All right, put these over here so they're not in my way. Okay, uh, Dark Crisis is next. Let's see if we can get an Exodia Necros. Never really played with the card, but I always liked Exodia Necros just because, again, Exodia has a really cool design. And I feel like Exodia Necros looks that much better than Exodia. Granted, it wasn't the same uh, as far as usability, but still. Two, three, four. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, spell reproduction. Oops, make sure I don't go too fast. Dark Scorpion, Incandescent Ordeal, More Al Boost. Make sure I'm looking at Ojama tri uh, Trio, Cestus of Dagla, Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu, Pandemonium Watch Bear, and then the rare is just Infernal Queen Archfiend. So nothing yet. So only one hit so far. Only one hit so far. I think my best I've done with these reprints is I pulled that. Um, who was it? It was, oh, it was Thousand Dragon. It was Thousand Dragon from the LOB set. I pulled that as a secret rare. Outside of that, never again. I mean, I pulled a couple super rares, but that's about it. But again, uh, I feel like the pull rates in these cards remind me of my childhood. And there's so many cards nowadays that like have much higher pull rates. It's like, no, no, no. Let me tell you where I came from. Back in my day, wow, I feel so old saying that. Back in my day, you would go through so many packs and you would always get just crap usually. Um, so y'all have a lucky these days. Y'all have a lucky these days. Okay, let's see what we got. So, again, four from the back. Make sure I don't screw that up. One, two, three, four. I feel like I'm still doing this wrong. Watch this be a super rare in the front. Or oh, Java Yellow! And here's a card that I actually use on my uh, Duel Links. I use it for farming, actually. Uh, so, we got Burning Algae, Inferno, the thing in the crater. What is the thing? Terror King Salmon, Self Destruct Button. This card is so stupid. This card is so stupid. Uh, Chaos Necromancer. Instinct Princess! Yeah, let's go! We got an Ultra Rare finally! So I did the card trick right. And finally, you also got Mad Dog of Darkness to put this into. Actually, again, 1900 attack. This is actually a pretty decent card to run back in the day. What does it even do? When well, this card is face up on the field, battle positions of all face up insect type monsters in your opponent's side of the field are changed the attack position. Each time this card destroys an insect type monster as a result of battle, increase the attack of this card by 500 points. That's decent! I mean, it's 1900 base attack, you need one tribute to pull it out, but if you run, uh, what's the card? Um, you can do insect barrier and DNA surgery. I think that's what it was and declare all insect type or parasite parasite That's a good combo. That's a good combo I don't know if people will even run that nowadays, but still it's cool to get an ultra rare out of these packs Finally after I was talking about how I rarely ever pull ultra rares out of these packs. Okay, let's go into the final two packs uh, Saving this one for last hopefully you can get a Raigeki out of that because you can actually use Raigeki these days and Pharaoh Serum We got thousand eyes restrict, but the card I really want to pull is Buster Blader You guys know Buster Blader is one of my favorite cards from my childhood. Uh, I actually ran it all the time, even though it never fit the meta on my deck. But there's something about that card that was just really, really cool. That the reason why I kept it in there. So uh, let's see if I can get that. If I can pull that, I'm going to be super hyped. Solemn Wishes. I hate this card. I just absolutely cannot stand this card because everybody ran it. And everybody, uh, not everybody, but a lot of my friends run it in Duel Links. And Duel Links is supposed to be like a fast game. And with a constant healing, every turn it gets annoying. Especially when you link that with like golden ladybug. It's like, can you can you not? Can you like not? Reign of Mercy. Uh, Dukuro Yaiba. Harpy's Brother, which this used to be called, um... Oh, no. This is the original name. If you guys remember, this got changed to, uh, what's it, what's it called? Uh... Because this is not a Harpy car, which is why they changed it. Uh, Sky... Sky what's it called? Sky, not, not Sky Guard, but it's Sky something, if I, if I remember correctly. But this is the original name. I'm actually surprised that they didn't update. Was this an original pack? Hold on. Nope, it says 2014 on this. That's weird. Okay, whatever. Uh, Harpy's Brother. Uh, seven completed. Infinite Dismissal. Flame Champion, so nothing good. all. And then finally, a school invitation as the regular rare. All right, whatever. It's not, 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 not bad, not bad. It's cool to see that come back with the original name. And finally, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. There's a lot of classic cards in this, ser in this series. And I would love to pull something cool just to again get that blast from the past. So let's see what we got. One, two, three, four. Get to the front. All right. All right. Yami Yugi or Atem, I'm going to need you to bust out your uh, destiny draw here and believe in the harder cards for me and give me something nice here at the end because he had that cheater ability in the, sh in the series apparently. Beaver Warrior, Silver Fang, Vile Germs, Lesser Dragon, Petite Dragon, Silver Bone Arrow. Dark Magician, let's go! Wow! Speak of the devil, I even said, you know, Yugi, or Atem, or Yami Yugi, and it actually worked! That's, that's awesome. I'm gonna actually get this graded just because this is cool. This is awesome. 
Fantastic. This better be a PSA 10 2. And finally, Arm Ninja. How does this look? Uh, pretty decent centering, I should say, actually. Let me actually look at this off camera. This is awesome, man. That, man, I'm glad I got that box. It's a good box. That's so cool. I'm gonna go ahead and get this bad boy sleeved up here in a second, and then I'm gonna put it in my, my card saver so I can get a grid. But other than that, if you wanna see more of these legendary, uh, what's it called? Legendary Game Board Edition? Legendary Collection, the Game Board Edition openings. Make sure you leave a like in the comment. If we get 750 likes on this, I'm gonna go hunt down more of these boxes, and I, and I got you. But other than that, uh, my name is Ramsa as always. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.